It is a rare occurrence for an Abraham High School student to feel happy at 5 a.m. in the morning. Yet when an early morning phone call or email arrives announcing a snow day, many students feel overjoyed. Yet the concept of a snow day has changed in recent years. What was once a day off from school has now become a day of remote learning on Zoom. For English teacher Dean Bradshaw, remote learning on snow days is certainly a viable option for a school like Abraham. But this transition still poses potential issues for some students. A lot of that comes from the area in which we um, live and the uh, benefits of, of an ambitious school. Um, but it wouldn't be seamless and not every kid has the same Wi-Fi access that every other kid has as well as those students who do have younger siblings at home. And that can really compromise what a remote day might look like for them at a moment's notice. For students like senior Jasmine's son, a snow day is an opportunity to take a mental health break amidst a busy schedule. I think snow days are so beneficial to my mental health because it's just like this unexpected day to wake up, relax, you know, spend that time with your friends and family that I guess normally in the school day, even on the weekends, that you, your life might be a little bit too chaotic and, you know, fast moving in order to do that. Conversely, a snow day without remote learning could be harmful to students like Junior Lance Locker who would lose instructional time for AP classes. When a snow day is added and it removes a day of school, that day of school is often put at the end of the year, but that doesn't really help with the problem of learning the material needed for AP classes, because those classes have a set date at the end of the year where we have to take those tests. Ultimately, when it comes to the difference between a traditional snow day and a remote learning day, it is essential to remember one person's benefit could be another's disadvantage. Reporting from Abraham High School, this is Matt McGowan for WAHS TV 16 News.